that it's rude to eat in front of people. But there is so, so much bacon over here in the kitchen that I had to get some bacon fest coming to Chicago. And uh, look at that bacon. This is like bacon heaven over there, Val. It is bacon. It smells so good when you walk in the studio today. This is really, really torture. And guess what, Ryan? The Bacon Fest is happening in my neighborhood. I can walk to it this weekend. Oh, perfect. You can walk to it, and then they'll get you in a bacon coffin on the way yes, out. Yes, exactly. They actually have those. You know that, right? They have bacon coffins. They have bacon everything. Bacon cologne. I don't know why you want to smell like bacon for your significant other. Yeah. But, but Well, bacon does delicious. smell good. Bacon ta smells tasty. <laughs> it smells so tasty. Now, I will tell you this, I don't make bacon a lot, like special occasions on the weekends when I'm fixing breakfast and you know, we're in and it's kind of a lazy morning. Mm -hmm. But when I do, I can make some really good bacon. Make some mean bacon. Yeah, because there's a, there's a skill to making good bacon. Oh, there is. It's yeah, tough to find it has great to bacon. Be, yeah, because you don't want it burnt, then you don't want it undone. It has to be perfectly crispy. Perfectly crispy. And shiny. Mm. Yum, yeah. So I'm obsessed with bacon and I'm obsessed with something else and I was telling you about it this morning. You were. I'm obsessed with HQ Trivia. Do you know what this is? Okay, HQ Trivia. I didn't either. Yeah, it's an app on your phone. It's free. Download it if you want. They're not okay. paying me to say this. Okay. It's a free app, and what it is, it's 12 questions. Basically, I'm going to let the host, Scott Rogowski, explain it because Please. he was recently on Good Morning America. Take a look. Scott, we're going to get right to it. Okay. Explain how this game works. Okay, it's very simple. HQ Trivia is a live daily game show on your phone. We broadcast every night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, every weekday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Mm -hmm. I ask 12 questions. They range from easy, like what is the chemical formula of water, H2O, oh, yeah, to difficult, like what is the official language of Suriname, Dutch. You have 10 seconds to answer right, the I question. I just lost my money on that. <laughs> yeah, you lost already. You're out. You have 10 seconds to answer the question. If you get it right, you move on to the next round, make it to the end, you win our cash prize. And there, there's a lot of money up for grabs. Yeah, sometimes I do $75,000. And then the only thing is there was like 1,200 winners, so you all split about 65 bucks. But it's, the, it's almost the thrill of it. Oh. It's like who wants to be a millionaire, you know, right. if you win in that game. Right. So it's I'm, just kind of to say you can do it. Too. And you say the answers are multiple choice. Yeah, they're multiple choice. It's every day at 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock. I have my alarm set on my phone right now. <laughs> do you? That's how obsessed I am. So it doesn't last from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. It runs at 2, and then it runs again at 8. Right, and there's like 2 million people watching at any given time. It lasts oh. for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or until you get knocked out. Sometimes you're out fast and then you go back. Well, you how have you been head. doing? What's uh, your... I, I've gotten seven right twice. Okay. I always go out on the eighth question. You've got to get 12 right to win the whole thing. Oh. So. Can you partner with someone? Like... Sure. I mean, you want to do it together? Sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll both Field be out. trap at your house. We'll probably both be out by yeah. question seven. <laughs> But check it out. Anyway. What do you even say? I'm bringing down your ratio? <laughs> we'll try it. All right, let's get into host chat. Uh, joining us at the table, entertainment and style host. Welcome back to the show, Jackie Bender. Hi, Jackie. Hey. Hey. Are you familiar with this? I've heard a lot about it. Yeah. People are obsessed. Yeah, my uh, the executive producer of our show, Matt Knudsen, is the one who introduced me to it. So you can blame him for the obsession. And Cheryl Scott, our meteorologist, plays every day religiously, and she got me into it. Yeah, well, instead of playing that today at yeah. 2 o'clock, join us for Facebook Live at 2 p.m. because we are giving away a trip to Iceland. And I think your odds are better for that than in this game. Much better. <laughs> Facebook Live, so check us out on that. Uh, all right, let's find out what's trending today. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I can tell you it's all about Snapchat. It's rolling out a group video chat. So here's the deal. Up to 16 people will be able to talk and take part in it using either video or just their voices. Mm. So how many people use Snapchat here? Okay, a few. So this is this is really good. Like my daughter uses it, so she's like, "Oh, cool, sixteen people all at once." Right. I still don't get Snapchat. Right. Other than the filters. Yeah, the filters are good. Yeah, because you got to have the dog ears. That's an important yeah. feature. Or the bunny ones, right? You're right. But ever since uh, Kylie Jenner tweeted out that she doesn't open the app anymore because they did this reformatting, the stock has plummeted. So this is Snapchat trying to fix it. Right. And remember there was that thing with Rihanna. Would you right. rather, where they played that awful game, what would you rather with the whole situation with Rihanna and Chris Brown? So that didn't help Snapchat mm. either. Right. It seems like everything they do is a huge success though. And this is just going to make it more appealing to more people. Yeah. And they got to keep trying to reinvent themselves to keep mm -hmm. this thing fresh, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't go away like MySpace and all the other ones. Oh, talk yeah. about throwback, Ryan. You know, I never canceled my MySpace account, so if you oh friend gosh. me on there, I'm still... Does it exist? It does not exist still. I think I think you does can still really? dial it up. I think so, yeah. Can you dial up MySpace? <laughs> I think so. 
You want to give it a shot? I can't ready to find how, how Ryan. How long ago was that? All right. Hold okay. on. They're trying. They're no, try yeah, our producers are trying to do it. it. We'll find out if they can find my profile. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. Yeah. All right. How about this? Uh, locally, this is what's, uh, what everyone's talking about. Not the first time this idea has been thrown out there by a mayor, but now a mayoral candidate, mm -hmm. Gary McCarthy, is proposing the idea of bringing ca a casino to O'Hare Airport. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? Versus the neighborhoods, right? Just right. to keep trying to keep, you know, people, those who are against it and say how much it's going to bring, mm -hmm. you know, crime or, you know, addictions and whatnot to the neighborhoods, just keep it in and out of the airport. I mean, I think lawmakers have been talking about this for years, and I think that this is probably one of the better ideas that I've heard. I mean, this eliminates a lot of the problems that people worry about with things like organized crime and right. other issues that might come along with that. Right, addiction, for, gambling problems. There's a lot of problems that come with, with yeah. gambling. Oh, yes. right. But I also don't know if I want to get off the airplane and hear do-do-do-do-do-do. That's what Everybody's you do like, when you go to Vegas. Us. I know, but you expect it in Vegas. Right. Do you, does it sort of I like mean, cheapen the... No, the not at all. No. I disagree. I mean, I think if you're going to put it, why not? You're in the airport for how long? You're right. just passing through. That's if true. If you want to kill time before your flight or you've got a long layover, I mean, like, why not put it there? Yeah, and they, if it and helps if your property tax from not going up. And I yeah. want that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I promise yeah. you, I just want that. Right, so by applause, audience, would you support this in the airport? Yeah. Hmm. I think so. I mean, I mean, the whole idea is, right, you're going to get commuters coming in from all over the world spending their money in our city. That's, right. That's really the idea. And, and think of how much more fun flight delays will be now, yeah. right? <laughs> plus, if you're lucky. Yeah. Plus, yeah. everybody has to go through security to get to it, which is a big thing, too, right. right? Right. But presumably, you can't get to it unless you have a flight that day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you have to go through TSA. Right. right. Interesting. But, you know, Mayor Emanuel talked about doing this. Maybe. And it didn't happen because there's a lot of pushback about it. So this is now what one thing Gary is talking about if he is elected mayor. And I know you're going to sit down with Gary coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I am going to sit down with him. We're going to be airing that coming up real soon. Yeah. All right. Stay tuned for that. Uh, the other big story. Oh. Yes, oh. I know. Brace is yourself. It big? Yes, it is big. Is it big for it's you, Jenny? Big news. Channing yes. Tatum and Jenna Dewan Tatum are done. Split so after almost nine years of marriage. This one was heartbreaking for a lot of people out there. And then everybody today at work is saying, you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is, this is our poll question for today. Go to WindyCityLive.com slash vote because we like for you to weigh in with us. Do you care about Channing and Jenna split? Yeah. Our social media person, Martina, was almost crying this morning in the office. <laughs> People on Instagram really lit this up. I think it was because they were like this beloved couple. They met on the movie set, remember? Yes. And Remember they he came to this show? He was fantastic. In our early scenes. Do you guys even remember that Channing Tatum was actually in this studio sitting right over there on the couch? And not long after that, I did um, a stand at The View, one day at The View. And the people at The View go, well, who have you guys had on the show? I said, oh, we just had Channing Tatum. They were like, he won't even do The View. But he did Windy City Live. That's right. Well, you got to get him back. That's right. We have things we need to know now. Yeah. yeah. I, He's available. <laughs> I haven't washed my hands since. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's certain couples. Are, are there any other couples in Hollywood, like when they split, you're crushed? Is there a, a couple out there? Because it's like people go, oh, Channing and Jenna can't make it. Nobody can no, make it. They you know? were a favorite for sure. Mine already happened. Worst case scenario has already happened because but, my favorite was always Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey. And every, oh, really? all parties involved have moved on, gotten married, had right. kids. Everyone's over it except for me. And I don't plan to be over it anytime right. soon. Yeah. What about Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie? Weren't you kind of devastated with that? Yeah. Mm, no? I mean, I, I mean the way I that they started made me not as invested in it. Yeah. But here's I, the thing, I never get devastated. <laughs> Devastated is a strong word, but disappointed, maybe. I think I was shocked because yeah, they were shocked. together so long, had all those kids, and then they were only married one year, maybe two, before they actually got divorced. So it's like they got married and that ruined their relationship. Mm. Well, here's the thing. I've learned never to get too invested in any of these. I used to host a celebrity relationship show for a long time. It was all celebrity relationships. And we had the graphic for the show was four iconic celebrity relationships, like ones you think are not going anywhere. Do you know how often we had to update the graphic for that show? It was like every six weeks, because people were always breaking oh, up. So I mean, I really thought Kim Kardashian me. and Chris Humphreys were going to make it. <laughs> they now, had what it took. You're trying to be funny, but let me tell you somebody who will stay together to the end of Chris, uh, Kim, and Kanye. Yeah. You I think? Bet you, oh, I bet you they're going to be in it for forever. I'm not sure. You no? Know? I'm not sure no? about that. Yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> well, look, 
uh, Tom Hanks and Rita. Yes. We've uh, in fact, I Googled the best, the longest relationships in Hollywood. Oh. Uh, Tom Hanks has been married 27 years to Rita Wilson. Yes. Michael J. Fox, 27 years. Kevin Bacon, 27 years. Denzel, 32 years. Yes, to Pauletta. Yep. I was going to bring them up. Samuel L. Jackson, 35 years. Yep. Uh, Meryl Streep, 37 years. Billy Crystal, 45 years, the longest I could find on the internet. Can you take any guesses? Okay, give me here. I love their this son. Game. Their son is a famous actor. Their son is a famous actor. Who has played a model. Oh, I don't know. Ben Stiller's parents. I heard somebody say. Ben Stiller's parents? Yeah, is Jerry Stiller, 61 oh years. <laughs> married. That's pretty yeah. good. Those are goals for sure. So we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, Nine yeah. years, huh? But Jenna Dewan, if she wants to come on the show anytime soon, and <laughs> yeah, you would like to hug. All right, yeah. we're going to go ahead and close that poll. 76% yes. of you say. No, they don't no, care. No, who cares? Aww. Yeah. So we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about this? Uh, Tiger Woods, finally, 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 what? we're talking about golf with Tiger. He's actually one of the he's, favorites he's now to win the Masters. Well. But. This is not a rerun. We are live today, and now another story has come out about possible infidelity on a girlfriend. A current girlfriend? No, a past girlfriend, and her name is Kristen Smith. She reportedly, according to TMZ, signed a non-disclosure agreement. Okay. All right, he paid her a lot of money to save embarrassment, according to her story. Right. And this happened in uh, 2017. Oh, not that long ago. Not that long ago. Offered no. her money, she took the money, now she wants out of the NDA. What? Not sure why, but man, what? Tiger Woods, what what's going on? Well, I mean, he broke up with her and he just paid her not to talk about it. I mean, yeah. but well, she alleges she, she alleges they this. broke up. She alleges they broke up because he cheated on her. Well, oh come on, dear. Like, did she was she under a rock? <laughs> she were dating Tiger Woods. It was all over the headlines. Dude's got a problem. I know. He's got. He said he's got a sex problem. Like, yeah. what does she expect? I know. It's like when Lindsey Vaughn dated him right after, and she looks a lot like Elon. Now this one looks like Lindsey Vaughn. Oh my it's God. like, come you on. You know what? Tiger needs a sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he'll really be faithful then. <laughs> Shake it up a little bit. Maybe see if you'll have better yeah. luck. Like, maybe she can put it on him where he only needs one woman. I don't know. I don't know if it's possible. I just think, I don't know. It's reasonable for a prominent person or a celebrity to ask for a non-disclosure agreement. I think that's reasonable. But the thing is, I don't understand these people who go ahead and sign these things and yeah. agree to them and then act like they didn't and they want out of it. It's like, you didn't have to sign anything. You didn't need to go into this, Ooh. but you did. Would well, you be referring to one stormy day? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> right. A lot of people have made that argument. Right. She took the money. Whether or not he signed it or not, you agreed to well, it. It was a it was a Now I will say this. Deal. I watched that interview with Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes, and I may be in the minority here, mm -hmm. but I felt I felt for her and I felt like now I felt like she she was lying here and there, right? Mm. But I feel like she did sign that because she felt intimidated mm. by whether it was the president or his attorney. I feel right. like, you know, because Anderson said, Well then why did you sign it? She was like, I was like threatened but not threatened. It was weird, but there was something about her that I was like, right. Oh, she just got really, really caught up. Now, yeah. is she a saint? Right. Hey, I got breaking news. <laughs> Tiger Woods is now dating Stormy Daniels. Yeah. <laughs> <That's just him. laughs> Just in. <laughs> All right. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, moving on. Which is better, getting fired by text or getting fired from your boss face to face? Oh. Face to face. Yeah, face to face? It has to be face to face. Etiquette says that's the way, obviously, you're supposed to do it, even in these times of digital, the digital world. It's worse but, to get fired by text. Don't you think that's a little insensitive? Yeah, one, one in eight millennials would rather get fired by text. Yeah. To avoid the rejection in person. Well, well, that's young people for you. Okay, so here's our next poll question. WindyCityLive.com slash vote. Is it better to get fired by text or face-to-face? -face? I, I mean, if you I have to get fired. I know, right? I know, right? Let's, I mean, let's like, start by saying <laughs> we don't I mean, want we really don't want either scenario. <laughs> However, I would want the chance to look at I'd want to ask questions. My, yeah. You know, why? Absolutely. Unless, you know, you did something horrible. You'd want to know why this was happening and mm -hmm. have the opportunity to leave a good impression, have that final conversation. Right. And also, I mean, of course, yeah. we all want to avoid rejection, but it's part of life. I mean, you have to have these tough conversations. Right. Well, remember, Rex Tillerson found out he got <laughs> fired from a tweet, right?
right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. and there was another one recently, just over the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And we've talked about us getting fired. I've been fired from a paper route once. Oh. Yeah. Have you been fired? Yep, from Continental Airlines. Wait, mm -hmm. what? Because you were talking too much. Yeah. yeah. I was uh, doing that. more. <laughs> I was doing more socializing and yeah. talking and meeting up with my uh, three other girlfriends who worked there. We were at a summer program and we worked there. We were supposed to be doing our jobs, but we were in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. mm. And they caught us one day. <laughs> They were like, where are they? And we were like in the middle of french fries and a pop and having a good old conversation. It's hard to believe. Someday she's going to come out of her shell. And then... <laughs> what about you? Have you been fired? Um, you know, I've had projects that ended and didn't really get renewed, which is always a hard conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think in those experiences, I would want to have those conversations in person. Yeah, yeah no question. Yeah. What about this? Have you ever had a conversation or been angry with somebody? We'll close that. 88% oh. say face to face, Face to face. By face, to face. Yeah, that's good. the way to go. All I right, but so we hope too. none of you get fired. Yes, we don't want that. Yeah. What about this diet rage? The summer is coming up. Everybody wants to look good in their swimsuits, so mm -hmm. now's the time to start getting in shape in the spring, even though it feels like winter still. <laughs> uh, diet rage is real, okay? So studies have found that diet rage triggers anger, <laughs> loss of patience, right? You get hangry. Hangry. Yes. Sure. You've seen the Snickers commercials, so now you, yes. I guess, don't feel so bad about yourself when you're getting upset. I think it's those initial, like, three to four days. You have to stay away from whoever's doing the dieting around the three to four days. After the fourth day, they're usually good, and I do speak from experience. Mm. <laughs> I just always keep a stick of bacon close. <laughs> Some, some, we've had some people here on this show oh, yeah. say lose weight by eating bacon. That's right. I've heard that too. You've heard right. that too because yeah, of the protein, protein, right? And it has good fat. That's so. true. I also have a buddy that's in incredible shape and eats at Chipotle every single day. So do we. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, so you go through this a little bit once in a while. Well, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I do. I mean, I know from experience it's mm -hmm. the it's because it's a drastic change. So you go from eating whatever you want, mm -hmm. right, and then you right. clean it up, and you're craving. Your body is going through withdrawals. It's going, I want chips. I want right. chips. No, you can't have chips. <laughs> but I want the right. chips. So this is the internal conversation, and then somebody loses, and then that makes you angry. Right. All right. Well, speaking of anger, uh, Black China. Oh. oh boy. I don't know if you've seen this video from TMZ. But there is a video that has emerged of Black China being extra protective of her kids. Of her kids. Well, she was at Six Take Flags a and a lady got too close to her kids. Right. So. Black China. That's Black China. Trying to. That's why the, you don't know who that is. Figure out exactly what's going on. So yeah, so she, they got too close to her kids. She became protective mom, and some are asking, well, did she go too far? Right. Well, the thing is, we have we have the video of. <laughs> she the was using the Tonka toy as a yes. weapon. Yes. Oh we have the video of what happened, but we don't have video of what happened before that, that this was a response to. Right. So, but I kind of have a hard time envisioning what could have happened where that response was really appropriate. Wanted. You know, yeah. I'm all for protecting your kids, but that looks a little over the top. Right. Was it Rob Kardashian on the other end? Yeah, of that? exactly. Right. Um, I think that's too much. But I mean, we are talking about black China. <laughs> right. I mean. Yeah, it's not exactly the Queen yeah. of England. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that would be not, a video. I have not seen that before, and Zoe was telling me about that, and I go, really? But that is, now I'm a mama bear. I am definitely protective, right. but I don't want to do a resort to violence. Right. Right. And if you do, make sure there's no cameras around. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, right. in this day and age, that's all I need. Val Warner loses it at that's the soccer it. game on another parent. I always think about celebrities that when we were kids, athletes, when we were kids, Michael Jordan era, no cameras around. Those guys no. got to do whatever they want, and their reputation stayed intact. Now, oh, an yeah. athlete doesn't sign an autograph, and all of a sudden, he's the biggest villain on the planet. Oh, yeah. The it's, day and era of the cell phone. We capture it all. The way it goes. All right, how about this? Ladies, which one would you want forever? Beauty forever or brains forever? Oh, that's not fair. Why do we have to pick? How come we can't have both? <laughs> this is a debate. Like, what color's the dress? No. You gotta pick. We want both. That would be nice What's to have both. What's wrong with having both? Val, you have both. Oh. Bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's be real. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm kidding. See? I'm the tire <laughs> tracks over my back from that bus. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, so that's a tough choice because it's like, okay, how much of one way do you have? Can we go, like, meet in the middle somewhere? That's what I'm saying. I know. Now well, you, you want both. You can't be, like, have looks of Channing Tatum and have smarts of Bill Gates. Like, God is fair. Yeah. Yeah. I always uh, say that. Jackie, I'll let you go first. I, I, I say I, I want both. 
I think you got to go brains on this one, but I mean, hopefully none of us will ever be in a situation where we have to make this decision. <laughs> yeah, 84% of American women say brains. Well, let's see what our Windy City Live viewers say because you can go to windycitylive.com slash vote. If you had to choose beauty or brains forever so far, the poll is coming in with looks like 70 something percent saying brains. Brains. All yeah. right. Yeah. You go brains, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to say anything <laughs> offensive. <laughs> Yeah. Turning. What are you? Don't wanna... offend. Don't no, offend. Don't right. offend. Yeah, no. Um, no, you do want brains because you can make brains attractive. No, yeah. that's true. People that are smart. Of course. We Neil Funny, deGrasse Tyson smart. has been on the show, one of the smartest men oh, I've ever met. What We've are you ever trying met. to say? He doesn't have any beauty. No, I'm saying he becomes more handsome as a person. It's like when there's a singers on yep. stage, they become more attractive when they have this talent. It's the same thing with brains. Yes, right. I agree. Right. You know, brains are attractive. In yeah. Themselves, right? True. <laughs> All right, we're going to uh, go ahead and close that out. Yeah, I think it already closed. 84% yep. of you say brains. All right, that's, that's the uh, same as the survey in America. All right. Uh, all right. I, you you I got think, something? Yeah, I do. I want to um, pull up something on the screen I want to show you all, just in case you're interested in perusing the Internet later on. This is Ryan <laughs> Chevarini's MySpace page. <laughs> Zero friends. Check it out. What is that a picture of? Well, you tell us what it's... You tell us what is a picture of. It's your page. Drums. It's drums. Were you, were you playing the drums at one point in your life? No. And drums drum keys? And drum keys. No. Were you starting a band and this was your bandmate's <laughs> instrument? I do have a distant relative. This is true. His, he has the exact same name as me. I think he lives in Kansas City. I've never well, met him. Maybe he's a drummer. So, oh, this says Chicago? Wow, this, I must have made this when I was severely uh, inebriated. Not MySpace. <laughs> so MySpace, would, you wouldn't have been in Chicago. This would have yeah. been back when you were in college or something, right? No, no, right? no, no. I started MySpace page here. Sure. Really? Yeah. Uh, that recent? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Never had one. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I ever had a MySpace either. Hmm. All right. Yeah. On that note, <laughs> big thank you to Jackie. Uh, thank you. Come back and see us again. Yes. Thank you for having me.